This video is a video about vectors on vector spaces and we are in the section of angles, um, orthogonality, uh, projections, distance, etc. In this video we introduce the concept, a very important concept of orthogonality. So we pick vectors u and v in a vector space Rn we say u is orthogonal or perpendicular is the same to v if u inner product with v equals zero. Um, okay, so probably um, if you study all this in if you saw all this in physics and you are more used to, to the idea of two vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal um, if the angle between them is 90 degrees, right? Okay, well that's true, two vectors are perpendicular if their angle, the angle between them is 90 degrees, this angle here. Okay, but um, this is more or less the same because we saw that u times v is absolute value of u, absolute value of v times cosine of theta, right? So, uh, if two vectors, their angle is 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 degrees is zero, so all this is zero, so this is zero, okay, for the cosine of 90 degrees. Okay, so both both definitions, they are equivalent, they are the same. Okay, let us pick three vectors, vector u, 5, 4, 1, vector v, 3, minus 4, 1, vector w, 1, minus 2, 3, and let us see which of these vectors if any, which of these vectors are perpendicular. Okay, you just have to do u inner product with v and u inner product with w and v inner product with w and see which ones are, if any, are perpendicular. So u uh, times v uh, this is very easy, right? u times v. So we have 15 minus 16 plus 1. This is 0. So this one is 0. Okay? So u and v, they are orthogonal. Okay? What about v and w? Well, v and w. 3 times 1, 3, plus 8, plus 3, 6 plus 8, 14, so this is 14, so V and W are not orthogonal, and what about U times W? So U times W, we are going to get 5 minus 8, plus 3, this is 0, so this one is also orthogonal. Okay, a quick example. Let us say we have vector u, 1, k, minus 3, and vector v, 2, minus 5, and this is 4. Okay, so for what values of k? are vector u and v orthogonal. You just do the dot product, okay, and see what k has to be in order for these two vectors to be orthogonal. So you probably, if you do the calculations, you're going to get k equal minus 2. If k is minus 2, then this is orthogonal. 
quick checking 1 times 2 you get 2 if this k is minus 2 you are going to get 10 that's 12 minus 3 times 4 is minus 12 and you get 0 okay and this is the only value that allows u and v to be orthogonal